my favorite plants of September. Even though it's already October, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her. I am a plant lover from the Netherlands where it's currently very, very gloomy and dark, but I've been very, very busy, so I'm sweating, hence I'm in a bikini. Combining feeling confident in your skin as it is today and plants, because I'm gonna show you my favorites of September, even though it's already October. I'm a little bit behind with everything. I'm a little bit overwhelmed and stressed, but okay. You may have heard or seen on my Instagram that last month my grandpa passed away. He was 102 years old. It was also my grandma's birthday yesterday. She passed away about five years ago. In this more challenging time, I'm really grateful for today's paid partnership with BetterHelp. Whether you're struggling with grief or anxiety or stress, like any of the things that I'm going through at the moment, therapy can help. It gives you tools to be better equipped to handle and enjoy your life and get through the hard times. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible and that's really important because it can be really hard to find a therapist. BetterHelp is an online platform offering therapy from home by qualified therapists and I've been really grateful to talk with mine throughout this period. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description, betterhelp.com slash yoga and plant. Clicking that link helps support this channel, but it also gives you 10% off so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Just having someone to talk through with all the emotions of my grandpa passing away has been so helpful, especially because I didn't feel really sad, which felt wrong. Because he was already so old, I actually felt mostly relief for him finally being able to let go. He was physically ready, he was mentally ready to join grandma again. And I was so grateful for my therapist to talk me through this period of my strange emotions in this time that's supposed to be sad. She made me feel like it is normal and it is okay any emotions that come up and I'm really, really grateful for that. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash yoga and plant. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. One of the main reasons why I'm currently a little bit upset is my first plant of this video. They are not in order, just like last time. This is my beautiful Anthurium pallidiflorum that was growing a new leaf. And just from setting this stuff up, I dropped it. I broke off, I think, at least two leaves. The petioles are broken. This one too. <laughs> the longest one is just gonna probably die. And the newest leaf is damaged in several places here as well. And I feel extra bad because the last leaf it grew for me, I also damaged because it was right next to where I was sitting. And when it was a new leaf, I broke it off like twice or three times. So this plant deserves a better spot. <laughs> it had a good spot, but I moved it to film this video. And then I forgot I moved it right in front of this door, pulled open the door to move something else and threw it on the ground. So don't look down. There's a lot of soil on the ground right now. <sighs> it happens. It's okay. I hope it forgives me. So this is my plant named Polly D from Pallidiflorum. My friend Yoop from Curious Plant Guy came up with that name. I think it's so beautiful. Unfortunately, because it's currently pretty gloomy, I can't show you it in bright light, but when sunlight hits these leaves, they are so shimmery. It's like velvet, beautiful. See, it's still so floppy and I broke it. Okay, deep breaths. Let's move on to the next plant. My next pick is Hoya Bella Annikebuis. So the outer variegated Hoya Bella, does it want to focus? There you go. Those are the adorable little leaves. Actually, it's not very happy at the moment, but that's normal because this plant had root rot. Ooh, I'm showing already what I want to show you later. This plant had root rot and I had to restart it. So I took cuttings to rescue it. And even though it was cut, the flowers, the flower buds that this plant had still opened and they've been open for quite a while now. I think at least one and a half weeks. I thought they were already closing again and dropping. As you can see, they are, the middle one didn't really even fully open. It is so adorable and I'm so impressed that it just kept growing the flowers even though I think it should definitely focus on the roots because there's several parts of this plant just falling off. But still, I love 
Hoya Bella flowers. They're so adorable and cute and ah, uh, I love them. So number two is Hoya Bella Annika Baus. If you don't know, these are named after two sisters. There used to be a Hoya grower about 30 minutes away from here called Baus. Their family name was Baus. And they had two sisters, Annika and Lida Baus, who they named these after when there were two different varieties found, the inner variegated one and the outer variegated one. So Annika is the outer variegated and Lida is the inner variegated sister. <laughs> Fun story time in between, but let's get the next plant. This one is maybe a little bit difficult to show you. I got this as a pretty happy growing... Oh, it's beautiful on screen. Okay, that's working out well. This is Begonia species Sarawak that I got from my friend Felice on Dekje Stekje on Instagram. She gave me a rooted happy plant, but it was definitely a lot smaller than it is now. I noticed it was already crawling out of the pot, so I gave it more of a base layer because I feel like it's a crawler it wants to grow over the ground and that's been going eh, I'm out of breath going really really well can you see how beautiful the color of these leaves are they're very they're not getting a lot of light which means that the begonia get really nice blue color if you don't know if you have those begonia that can get blue if you give them less light it will definitely get better blue it is stunning. And I also love that there's more like a pink. Oh, maybe you can see it here even because of the light. This way it looks more pink. This way it looks more blue. That's what they do. I love the iridescence here as well. Oh, I am so happy that this is growing because previously I got a cutting from another friend and that just died, never grew anything for me. So I was hesitant to try this. It's even flowering. Very, very, very small flowers still very cute. I'm so happy with this one. It's literally has like three growth points or more. So yay. I'm gonna keep it in this little thing for now. Maybe I should make it a terrarium. Like a slightly bigger box where it just can take over and then with some other plants in there that grow a little bit more higher up, like other begonia that grow up. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, I love it so much. It looks like it's very soft. So I just want to pet it even though it's not necessarily soft to the touch. Oh. Next. This is my Anthurium. I have to read this label because it's a long name. Anthurium Papillilaminum Legend Sipanas crossed with Papillilaminum Old Clone. So it's two different Papillilaminums crossed with each other and I love it. I got this from Bunny Jungle a while ago and they are growing really well. This was the leaf it grew for me before it was getting quite a, it is getting quite a lot of light so it's a bit smaller than the leaf before that then it grew this one which is still very red even though we already have a new leaf here as well so normally the leaf hardens off and becomes more like dark green and then it grows a new leaf but in this case it just keeps on growing while it's still red and i love this i don't know red gold brown whatever you want to call it most about anthurium the little baby here i can't wait to see how big it gets because for me with how i take care of anthurium they generally size up very very quickly so i'm very curious if it's gonna get even bigger than this one what color it will be this older one is a little bit more long this one is a little bit more fat if you see that difference so i'm hoping it will continue the length as well yeah i'm very excited to see what this will turn into Woo. next up we have a pretty big plant my florida beauty which i love so much if you have seen my short or my reel i put a vote up to ask you guys for help whether i should move it out of the terrarium or chop it and i chose for now to extend the moss pole as you can see this is the new part and Wow, I think already roots are growing in there. I decided to not chop it partly because the newest leaves were fully yellow. Here's another fully yellow leaf. It's a bit blown out by the light here, but also because I wanted to see if I could size it up even more and it looked so beautiful as a whole plant. I didn't want to make a mess. And also I've heard these can be quite tricky to propagate. I've also heard from Ruperop, who actually I got this one from, that they are very easy. She has the magic skill of the Florida beauty propagation, I think. For now, I moved it out of the terrarium, staying in one, staying in one. <laughs> and then here you can see, hopefully, there is a new leaf. Yes, 
I can't wait to see it. Of course, I have to be mindful to not mess it up and touch it too much as a new leaf. But I'm so curious what it will look like because this plant keeps alternating between very yellow and then just beautifully kind of half moony. This one is a almost perfect half moon leaf here as well. So there is a lot of variety. Here's another half moon. I'm definitely hoping for a lot of green on the next leaf because that is needed in a plant. And also you can see in the terrarium, in the high humidity, in the perfect environment, the fully yellow leaves were fine, they were not dying. But now in the living room temperature and humidity and everything, this one, I don't know if it comes across because it's a bit over lit, but this is browning and dying. And that is totally normal and expected. I'm assuming it will also happen to this one, but for now that still looks very, very nice. As long as it keeps giving me also green and not just the yellow ones, I'm happy to leave it as is. Okay, I've talked a lot about this plant because I love it so much. It is beautiful and it's just living underneath my Soltec grow light in the living room. If you want to use my code for Soltec, it's plant with rose. It will get you a discount and it also helps me. So thank you. Next up, we have another begonia and it's an adorable one. This is my begonia Melanobulata <laughs> that I got a long time ago from Hofstede Hovaria. Then it died. I had it in my terrarium. It completely died back. But luckily my mum had taken a cutting from an old leaf that I was going to throw away. Always believe your mum when she says she can rescue a plant. And she gave a cutting back to me. And then I think hers died now. But I still have this big one. But it was growing in my very small begonia terrarium, which you might know from upstairs. It is a fish tank. And I generally have very, very small begonia in there. <laughs> this one was just taking over the whole thing. So a few weeks ago, I pulled it out. Literally, the roots were spread all along the bottom in the perlite. I didn't film this, unfortunately. It was very satisfying to see and also very exciting. And I popped it in living room conditions, which I was very scared about, very hesitant, because I didn't want to ruin it. But it was the only way for it to keep growing happily. And it's actually looking pretty good. I've had some begonia that adjusted to living room conditions, but first they melted all their leaves or they became super droopy. You can see a little bit of drooping happening here. But in general, most of these leaves are actually standing up nice and straight again. They look so cute. And the bigger it's getting, the more little bumps it's getting. So here you have the newest leaf. There's so many cool points. This is actually also pretty fitting for October since it's already October. Maybe I should do a spooky plants favorites for October. If you don't know, there are two plants that look pretty similar, Begonia ferox and Begonia melanobulata. You can tell the difference from what I've heard. I'm by no means a Begonia expert, but someone told me that the melanobulata has hairs at the end of the points. Can you see that? There's little hairs everywhere. And ferox only has the blobs, the points, but not the hairs. Yeah, can we see? But I thought that was a very interesting differentiation. I also have ferox. It's growing in my terrarium at the bottom now. Also not doing super well. I think it's not getting enough light. But this one is doing great. I'm so impressed that it's just adjusted to living room conditions like it's nothing. Yay. Next up is my philodendron glorious, which I haven't showed you in a long time. I cut this up from a moss pole, I don't know, months ago, and it didn't grow for forever. So I'm so happy that finally now I want to be careful because this beautiful pot, I don't want to drop it. This is by Piece of Clay, Natalie, one of my friends now. And look, it has two plants in the pot, so it's... Ah! <laughs> Both of them are growing new leaves. It doesn't want to be shown to you, apparently. Look at that. It's already pretty big. This one was a top cutting, the big leaf. And then this one was a bigger stem cutting that has started to grow now as well. And I'm so excited to grow this up the moss pole again. Next time I do repot, I will definitely not do a chop. That's also what kind of inspired the not chopping for the Florida Beauty, because this took so long. I think I'm just gonna extend the moss pole like Jan does, and then once it reaches the top of the second moss pole, because it's just one, I can extend it once more, then I might cut. But I don't know if you've seen Jan's and Jake's on Instagram, Jake the plant guy and Sydney plant guy. They're Gloriouses, <laughs> Gloriouses are glorious. They are so big. They're like the size of my crystallinum, which you can't really see because it's not focusing, but definitely so, so big, so much bigger than this. So I'm gonna 
continue growing it until it gets to that size. <laughs> I'm determined, even though it's now winter. Look at this beauty. Next up, we have a... Oops, my good bugs, throwing them on the floor. A beautiful Hoya. This used to be my number one favorite Hoya until I started to struggle with flat mites. I don't know if you can see here, but if your Hoya keeps trying to grow and then getting stuck again and growing these weird blobs at the end of the growth point, it might be a sign that you have flat mites. This finally is getting better. I only treated this with good bugs actually. So let me get them back <laughs> to show you. These are the Swirsky mites by Coppert that I get from Entocare. And they are actually normally what I use against thrips, but apparently they are also the ones to use against flat mites. Even though you treat other mites, spider mites, with a different bug, which is called Spicol. Yes. As you can see, this plant is growing again. There's a new leaf here. It is finally looking beautiful again. And that is just thanks to the good bugs. It did take a really long time. <laughs> so I think there's definitely a quicker way to treat if you do the sulfur treatments that Adam and Miro have been talking about. But I did not have the energy or the time for that. So I just did the bugs and was like, we'll see what happens. Finally, it's looking beautiful again. The reason why I love this Hoya so much is the shimmer. I hope I can show you. It also gets sun stress, so it looks a little bit purple here, which we love. The splash looks beautiful too, but there is like almost like a begonia leaf or an anthurium leaf, if that makes sense. Ooh, there's another leaf growing here as well. I love it so much. Hoya Rinci Borneo. Definitely highly recommend trying this Hoya if you can get your hands on it. It's not always easy to find or cheap, but very worth it, even after this many months of mites. <laughs> then it's time to show you one alocasia only in this video, actually. Last time I think there were a few more. This is my alocasia Friedeck with the yellow variegation. These were little corms that I took out of the main pot that's over there. And it has grown a little bit of variegation here. The other ones didn't have any, so that's why I didn't sell them in the online Instagram sale that I did a few months ago. But look at this new leaf. Oh, no, we cannot focus on it probably because it's hard life to be a camera. Hopefully my camera wants to focus on it. Okay, don't do this at home, but I'm unfolding the leaf for you. Can you see? There's variegation again. Okay, somehow it looks very sad in this light, but it's definitely a lot nicer in real life. <laughs> so that deserved a spot in the September favorites video, I think. And the last one is my Thai constellation. I know that was in my previous favorites video as well, but it is now repotted. <laughs> Can you see the pot? This is now the pot that Ferry was in before, so it's a lot bigger. I also gave it a pole. And let's see if I can show you from there. It is growing a new leaf! I saw it yesterday, I screamed, I cried. No, I didn't cry, I just screamed. I was very excited. Look at it. The previous leaf it grew was in June 2023. It is now beginning of October 2023. So it's been about three or four months. That is actually pretty quick in my experience with this guy. So I'm very, very excited and happy. And I can't wait to see it. Usually this plant alternates between a more just green mottled leaf and then a leaf with a big patch of sectoral variegation like you see on this side. So I'm guessing it will be a more green leaf again. Huh, this is hard which I am totally fine with. Let me put this down. Okay, that was hard work. I'm gonna sweat some more now. <sighs> Luckily, the rest of the day I can edit and calm myself down <laughs> and cool down and put some clothes on again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, and leave a nice comment. Mickey is here. <laughs> Mickey came to say hello as well. He's ready for his nap. And so am I, <laughs> to be honest. You can join my Patreon and YouTube membership if you want to join the Discord chat and have a monthly Zoom call with me. And again, a big thank you to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. I will see you all next week. Bye, friends.